Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna to be unboxing a new kitchen appliance that we just received. Now I feel it's important to give you a backstory for today's unboxing and review. As some of you know, I've been trying for weeks now to get my hands on a PlayStation 5 without any kind of success. There was a glimmer of hope a few weeks ago when I managed to successfully secure, place, and order, and even get a confirmation for a PS5 bundle from Kohl's online which then unfortunately it got canceled the next morning due to it being oversold, which was heartbreaking. The benefit though was that Kohl's honored the Kohl's cash that was earned from that order and let everyone keep it as a consolation for the trouble which everyone went through. And that's something that I gotta say is that I'm super impressed with. Flash forward today when we received our order for the Ninja Foodie 6-in-1 Smart XL Indoor Grill, which also serves as an air fryer. Now it's no PlayStation 5, but from what I've heard, it's an amazing grill. Now truth be told, this grill retails for around $300, but together with the Kohl's cash and some other discounts and coupons, I ended up getting this thing for a little over $100, which was an amazing deal. And then on top of that, I used the Rakuten plugin on my browser to get an additional 7% back. So all in all, this thing cost me a little under $100. So for those of you that are interested, I'll leave a link to the Rakuten plugin in the comment section below. It's a great cashback app that partners with hundreds of online retailers, and this is not a sponsored video. Anyways, I'm going to be unboxing, reviewing, and hopefully nomsing on some amazing steak and vegetables soon. Stay tuned and we'll get to it. Okay, so today we're going to be unboxing and reviewing the Ninja Foodie Smart XL Grill. And as usual, we'll start with the unboxing to see what we get. After that, we'll cook a steak together and maybe some other things to see how it works. So first things first, let's cut open this box. So it's a box in a box. So let's see what it looks like. So first on the top, it tells you what it comes with. It comes with a Foodie Smart Thermometer. It comes with a four quart crisper basket. It comes with a cleaning brush. So it comes with your warning labels. Talks about how you can best cook this for a smoke-free environment. It comes with your quick start guide, which on the back also talks about the different oils you can use as well as the optimal temperatures to cook different things at, which is pretty cool. And then it comes with your owner's manual with a ton of different recipes in it. Mexican street tacos, that looks pretty good. And then of course you've got your user manual for the device itself, which I typically don't read anyways, but I think in this case I'm gonna have to because there are so many features for this grill. Okay, and now for the grill itself. So, so this is your cast iron non-stick grilling plate, which is great for cooking steaks and chicken. And these grooves allow you to get your grill lines uh, when you're cooking your steaks and other things. And then you have your grill cleaning brush, which of course is used to clean your device. Then we've got the grill itself. <sighs> okay, so this is the Ninja Foodie Grill XL. All the tape, which is securing it in place. So it looks like here on the side is the removable plate where it hides the thermometer. So this is a thermometer that you stick in your meat in order to cook it to the correct doneness. And it's magnetized, so it's as easy as just sticking it in there and it magnetizes and sticks. So inside is a removable splash guard that protects your heating element from oils to ensure a smoke-free environment when grilling. And this is your four quart crisper basket, which is great for French fries. You can also roast a whole chicken in here, so this is pretty nice to have as well. Then you've got your heating tray, 
which looks like it can hold a larger chicken and maybe even a turkey uh, when, if you wanted to roast something. And then this entire device is made up of a pretty durable plastic, iron, and metal. It just feels pretty solid. So you put your tray in here at the bottom and you can place whatever items. So what's nice is all of these trays have notches in them so that it can hold each of the trays in place to avoid things from moving around. Same thing for the grill. It's got a notch in the front so you can place it in there and it keeps it from moving around. So based on what you're cooking, you can use different trays or different baskets. And then this bottom tray will collect any kind of oil drippings or any kind of drip runoff, uh, extra excess water or runoff. Uh, you can also place water in the bottom tray if you're grilling or steaming vegetables. So let's go ahead and test this thing out and see how it works. All right, so the first thing I wanna do is prepare the steak. So I bought some ribeye steak today that we're gonna try out in this new Ninja Grill. So beautiful steak. So first, just to make all the ingredients stick, I'll put a little avocado oil. Salt on the side. Really normally I just like to do just salt and pepper, but you know, we'll do a little bit more. So we'll put some pepper. We love this steak mix. It's a Cooper's old time steak mix. It's a local barbecue place and you know nothing's better than Texas barbecue. So this is Cooper's barbecue steak seasoning. Okay, and now that the steak's prepared, we're gonna go ahead and open the grill. And we're gonna put the grilling plate in there. So according to this, next step is to power it on, set it on grill. Okay, so before we do that, we wanna make sure we take the thermometer out of the side what you do is you plug it into the little port on the side of this. You want to set it to your doneness. So on here, there's a chart that tells you the numbers based on the doneness you want. Typically, we want it a little bit medium, medium well. So since we want to be in between there, medium is generally five to six. Medium well is seven to eight. So I'll just either, I'll just put it on six because my wife likes it medium. I like it medium well. Six, so it talks, it says it's gonna put it on medium. Start, and it'll preheat the oven. So it's not too loud, which is a good thing. So just a little bit of advice. You might wanna preheat your grill while you're preparing the meat just to save some time. Somehow we started growing rosemary in our front yard. So this is freshly picked rosemary from our front yard. Okay and then it'll tell you when to add your food. It'll say, it'll switch to add food when it's preheated. So that's when you open it up. And it says you wanna fully place the thermometer grill tip into the grill itself, because it'll damage it if you don't. Then we'll close this, and then it'll start cooking. Target temperature for medium is 126 degrees Fahrenheit. So we'll just let it do its thing and cook. Okay, so while we're waiting, we've got some good recipes. It's got different types of rubs. It talks about different rubs that you can put together, different sauces, and it's got a bunch of recipes. So a lot we can cook from this. It tells you at what stage the meat is, whether it's rare, uh, medium rare, medium, medium well, or well done. So it tells you also when you need to flip it. So I gotta take it out. And as you can see, that steak's looking pretty nice. And as you can see, it's got the nice grill marks on it.
Move it back on, and then we'll flip it, and then we'll close it up again so it can continue on. Okay, and this is almost done. So as you notice, it's at 125, and the target temperature is 126. So I'm expecting it's going to change and say get food or something like that in, in a little bit. See, changes to get food when it's ready. So, and look at that. It's beautiful. It's just a beautiful steak. Now one thing to remember is after you've cooked the steak, you let it rest for three to five minutes because once you take it out of the grill, the meat is still cooking. We'll cut into the steak and see how well this grill did. Okay, so we'll cut into the center of the steak. Look at that. Looks like a perfect medium steak. So let's go ahead and taste the corner and see how it tastes. It's so good, it's so juicy. Okay, and cleaning this should be fairly easy. It should just be a matter of rinsing this and putting it in the dishwasher. So one, you just wet it and use the enclosed brush, which first, you know, you'll want to remove the grease because you don't want to pour grease down your drain. So you'll just pour out the grease. And there you go. Clean and brand new looking. The next day. Okay guys, so today we're gonna test out the Ninja Foodie Grill XL by cooking some pork belly, which my wife marinated overnight um, and let's sit. So this should be good. It's one of my favorite dishes and we'll see how it does. So we went ahead and washed the pans last night in the dishwasher. And as you can see, they're pretty clean. They're not greasy feeling at all. So um, we'll put these back into the grill itself. And of course, again, they fit only one way. And then we'll put this in there. And then we'll put some of this marinated pork belly in there. Okay, so because this is pork belly, uh, we can either grill, we can roast it, or we can air crisp it. But for today, we're gonna try to roast it. So we're gonna put on roast. We'll set it to 425 degrees. We'll just set it for 20, 25 minutes at first. Uh, we wanna make sure the intent, you know, we will attach a thermometer to one of them and we'll cook it to make sure it hits 165 degrees internally. Now this is experimental. I've never cooked pork belly using this, so it's completely new to me. This is gonna be completely experimental for me. Okay. Okay. Actually, we'll take this out because we want to preheat it first. So we'll preheat the oven. Okay, so I forgot to preheat the grill, so I took the meat back out. Uh, that's something you're gonna to wanna to make sure you do. So again, we put on 425 for 25. Okay, and while it's preheating, we'll add some avocado oil to this. Just drizzle it lightly over this. Okay, so this one heats up a little quicker. So again, we'll open it. Then we will get our food. Ooh, the heat coming out of there. Okay, so, so we got some oil. So let's go ahead and put the thermometer in this one. Put it in the medias part. It. 425 and we'll set this to 165 target temperature. So you can use the timer definitely if you know how much time it'll take to cook, but if you want to make sure it's cooked to the complete doneness, then you'll want to use the target temperature because then at least you'll know it's cooked to your liking. Okay, so now we gotta flip them.
Ooh. Crispy, crispy, crispy. It's already falling off the bone. It's already falling apart. So the good thing is overnight while it was being marinated, we used the pressure cooker, so it somewhat cooked. So putting them in this Ninja is gonna be pretty quick. And the good thing, as you can see, virtually no smoke at all, actually none at all. So it's living up to its reputation of a smokeless grill. Look at that. So tender. Beautiful. This Ninja Foodi Smart XL grill is a 1760 watt device, which comes with the grill itself. Also a nine by 12 high density grate, which I'm gonna assume is what I'm gonna be using a majority of the time. And also a four quart capacity air fryer crisper basket. It also has a six quart base capacity cooking pot and comes with a detachable smart thermometer to ensure that you're cooking your food to the optimal temperature. What's good is that it also comes with an optional cleaning brush, which I think is nice to have, but it does feel kind of flimsy in my opinion. Now the technology behind this grill and how it works is it uses a process of 500 degree rapid cyclonic air, which circulates and sears around your food that you're trying to cook, heating it evenly on all sides. You can use this grill to cook virtually anything. And the best part is that it cooks completely smoke free. With this device, you don't even need to defrost your frozen meats before cooking it. And when you're done, the results look like you spent hours in front of an outdoor grill when you actually only spent a short amount of time preparing the food, which for the most part was really unattended. All of the accessories for this grill are dishwasher safe and it's as easy as wiping it down to clean it. The grill itself takes the guesswork out of cooking and will cook your food to the perfect doneness. It's got options to broil, roast, bake, grill, and air crisp, which is essentially air frying. You can even dehydrate food, which is something that I'm excited to eventually try out. I also did get to test out the reheating functions of the grill and it did just fine there as well. So now that I've gotten to use the Ninja Foodi Smart XL grill, what can I say about it? The price is a little steep, but even at $300, I think it's worth the money for what it does. My steak and pork belly turned out amazing as you saw. And now that I've got a belly full of yummy food, I think I've found my new favorite grilling appliance. I'm glad I was able to get this at a discount, but even if I had to pay full price for it, I definitely would have gotten it. Anyways, if you want one for yourself, I'll leave a link to it in the description section below. I hope you found this unboxing and review helpful, and I wish I could have shared this meal that I prepared with you. If you've got one of these, let me know what you think about it in the comment section below. Please also share with me any recipes that you might have. I'm always looking to try something new. There's still so much that I wanna try and make with this grill, and I think the next thing I'll tackle is grilled chicken and grilled vegetables, but we'll see. If you wanna support this channel, please make sure you smash that like button and subscribe. And if you wanna see more videos using this grill, make sure you go ahead and click that bell icon. Until next time, see ya.